hello welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be making the nigerian stew with turkey if you want to keep your husband this is the class you must attend you don't want to miss this class this stew was so good it came out so so delicious so this is everything you're going to need you can take a screenshot i'm also going to be showing them to you right now you will need three fresh pepper i'm using yellow you can use any one you will need lots and lots of bell peppers because we're not going to be using no tin tomatoes for this stew so i use nine bell peppers and eight plum tomatoes i love to use plum tomatoes for stew because i just think that the sourness gets off faster you will also need 1500 gram of turkey you need seasoning cube i have four there but i ended up using three for this video to cook the meat you need half onion thumb size of ginger and two cloves of garlic you need um what's this called again um nutmeg curry powder thyme my new favorite all-purpose seasoning jumbo you will also need salt i ended up not using salt for this too you will also need um oil for frying i forgot to mention that you need two red onion to blend the tomatoes and bell pepper so now into the meat you're going to add in the chopped garlic ginger and onion add in two seasoning cubes one tablespoon of the jumbo seasoning and then just stir everything together and let it cook in its own juice for 20 minutes on very low heat so it does not burn so i'm going to give it a very good mix until everything is very well combined then i'll cover it and let it do its thing for 20 minutes So next I'm going to cut off the onion, take out the seed from the bell peppers and just get everything ready for blending. So once that is done, put it in a blender and blend. Try not to blend with water. Add the tomatoes first before adding the bell peppers. That way the juice from the tomatoes will blend um, everything. Yes. So, And as I blend, I'm going to be adding more of the bell pepper and blend until it is very smooth. Then that is it. So once I'm done blending, I'm going to check on the turkey and look at all that juice that came out from the turkey. I did not add any single water at this point. So now everything has absorbed all the ingredients. I'm going to then add in one cup of water and then cover it and let it cook for another 10-15 minutes. So this was 10 minutes later and at this point the turkey was cooked. I'll give it a good stir and then take it off the heat. Save this meat stock because we're going to use it later. So now in a clean pan you're going to add oil. Once it heats up, fry the turkey. Don't burn it all. Mm -hmm. Just fry it until it is golden brown and then you take it off the heat. You can also bake this but I wanted to use the oil I used in frying the turkey to cook the stew. You understand? So I'm going to transfer the oil into my pan that I'm going to be cooking this stew with. So I'll transfer it there and then slice up half onion, fry it until it's translucent before adding in the blended 
peppers so i'll do that and give you one quick stir and i'm not going to cover this pot this is another trick do not cover the pot just leave it open when you feel like it starts to um, splash everywhere you can just cover it halfway but don't cover it through so you're going to keep stirring with intervals maybe every five, five minutes so it does not burn and then how do you know your stew is ready apart from tasting it and then it tastes kind of sweet you know it's ready when the oil comes to the top of the stew just like this they all flow to the top of the stew then you know your stew is ready and then the oil will be clear if it's muddy then you still have to fry some more but if the oil is clear then you know your stew is ready at this point you can add in the turkey and then stir then you're going to add in that meat stock i hope you didn't throw it out add in the meat stock and then stir it again So at this point you can taste for seasoning and salt and then adjust if necessary i needed one more seasoning so i added one more seasoning i added the um what's it called the nutmeg at this point but i don't know why it didn't show but yeah i added one teaspoon of nutmeg and you guys look at my stew don't tell anybody oh, i fried some fish off camera and i'm going to add it now because i love eating fish with rice so that when i'm cutting the fish i use it to dig some rice and then you know it goes very well so don't tell anybody you can see me hiding the fish inside the <laughs> inside the stew so you don't see it but yeah guys this stew was so good you see why i said this stew can make you keep your husband it can help you I know fit fan people were ginger enough to come and attack me in the comment section but you see i'm taking out the oil if you want to scoop the whole oil out of this stew it is very possible just keep doing it small 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 but i have to leave some oil you know so we can use it to eat the rice mm -hmm. but yeah you can scoop as much oil as you want out if you want i use the oil that i scooped out to cook beans the next day you guys that beans oh my god it was touching me in my mandula it was so good so good because of the flavor from this stew and this is it guys thank you all so much for watching this video please share my video subscribe and i'll see you all in my next one enjoy